All right, so we have a downspout here. It's leaking water right there. The way our leaf filter is set up, you slide it up on the downspout, and the downspout goes in quite deep. If you have settling, the leaf filter will just slide on the two by three downspout, and there's plenty of room. It doesn't come disconnected. Like right now, if I try to push this back in the pipe, see what happens? This comes off. So homeowners are forced to do that. They're trying to split the difference because you're gonna lose water here, you're gonna lose water here. So we see this all the time. There's so many things wrong with those gutter adapters that I don't even know where to begin and where to end. So this thing, this downspout was only ran to here. This is flat right here. This is all flat. So that line's just holding water. I'm willing to bet that that line is also a perforated line because the backyard downspout was on a perforated. So I'm gonna say that the landscaper that did this did every downspout on a perforated line. So we're gonna run that and go out a little further. We gotta get out here where the grade breaks so that we can empty that line. We don't want that line to hold water because in the winter time, it's gonna freeze up. As long as you have slope on your line, the line will empty. Then when it gets cold, there's no water to freeze. So when you have a thaw, it's, it's ready for you. So unlike our, not quite a 90, where it's ramped and all the garbage comes out, this just filled solid with shingle gravel and debris. So once the basin feels solid, it starts to fill the pipe. And that's exactly what we have here. This basin doesn't have much of a sump to begin with. So as soon as that fills up, then the debris starts to fill up in the bottom of the pipe. The bottom of your pipe becomes your sump because you have no reservoir. This is four slot staggered. They used a saw cut pipe that's four slot staggered. Yes, it is perforated. They didn't use solid pipe. You can see how the, the roots in the landscape, they got inside the pipe. Now, I don't know how filled this pipe is with roots. I don't. But there really isn't a big tree here. It's just shrubs. But had there been an ornamental tree like this one, it would have been clogged for sure. The guys are going to take this line out until they get enough fall. Once they get enough fall, they'll end that run to a pop-up emitter. We're gonna put an inline catch basin on this to catch a shingle gravel. We got a roof that is shingled. I like having the catch basin. It's easy to access. Tells you what's going on with the line. This line ended up deeper. You can see the guys have two risers. That means four inches of lift. The risers are two inches each. They stack on each other. Slip fit, no glue, right here, look at this, God, that's, that's beautiful. You have a leaf filter, vented clean out, gutter adapter, combination, a absolute must for any underground buried downspout system. It's on a dual wall riser, not quite a 90, puts it on automatic slope, one piece, all the way to the catch basin. Guy's got stone and fabric around the catch basin. One piece. One piece of pipe right there. All the way to the catch basin. Now, instead of the water just filling the line, and it was a perforated pipe, so the water was being lost at the house, which is terrible. And then there was really nowhere for it to go. The water just stayed in the line until it leached away. Now we come all the way out here.
to where the grade breaks. People always ask in the comments section, how far do you have to run away from the house? Well, it's really not a set amount of feet. You know, it's one of those things where I tell everybody, the minimum is 15 feet. Like I have to go 15 feet or then I have to worry about the water leaching back through capillary action. You know, so my happy place is beyond 15 feet. You know, you get yourself 17, 18, 19 feet out, we're good. So the guys are standing on it as they put the dirt on it. They don't want the dirt to roll under the pipe, lifting the pipe, and then that causes bellies. They got a beautiful line, everything's perfect. Team of professionals. Oh yeah, let's see what you got. No, well there's your speedy basin that doesn't have a sump. So once your speedy basin that has virtually no sump is full, then your pipe gets full. So all that shingle gravel was in that perforated pipe on top of everything else. So they're really fortunate that we were here to put in a French drain and I detected these two downspouts being flawed in many ways. While we were here, they opted to have us add this on. Best decision the homeowner could have made. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about yard drainage, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.